Hello, this is Suresh from Automation Experts. Uh, let's see how to generate dynamic data for running uh, automation test cases. Now, the concept of concept of uh, run dynamic data is uh, important in automation testing because um, uh, you may not be able to use the same data for um, every time you run a test case for some cases. For example, if you're running a sign up test case, you cannot have the same uh, user ID or email every time you sign up. You have to use uh, different different uh, names and email IDs. And then, um, if you don't use uh, um, dynamic data for certain test cases, you might get uh, false positive. For example, suppose I have a test case uh, that does certain tasks. Now I verify that uh, after the task I verify some title or something but if you use the same data over and over again if even though if the test case is actually has failed maybe due to some uh, bad uh, cleanup or something uh, the data from your t previous test run might still be on the page so when you mm, verify that you basically verify the um, data created by the previous test case, case which uh, lead, might lead to false, false positive we don't want that so um, basically uh, those are the main two reasons why we need uh, uh, dynamic uh, data uh, so let's see uh, how we can achieve this uh, i have a library that i use uh, there's called java fake if you search for google for java fake the click on the first link uh, it will open a github project dius java fake uh, basically this library will help you to generate uh, names uh, so you can later use that names for uh, gen constructing uh, types of uh, uh, user IDs and email IDs etc so let's see okay this is the dependency you can just grab this dependency and uh, paste it in your form file mm, I have it right here so if I okay let's see how we can get this uh, we can generate uh, the data um, this going to, first step is you have to create an object for your faker class. I'm just going to say faker faker is equal to new faker. Then I'm going to let's see what are the options we have. Faker dot. This will mainly give me name and address options. I'm going to go with name. Uh, if uh, after name you get a bunch of options like full name, username, name, name with middle first name, last name, prefix, suffix, etc. Et so I'm just going to go with the full name. Uh, let's, let's just print this one out and see what is the output. I'm just going to just run this. Okay. okay as you can see, it generated a name along with the title. You can see Mrs. Shayan something. So, okay. Uh, so I should uh, should never dot full name will give us the name uh, along with the title. Uh, okay, if you want to uh, let's see how we can generate basically first name, last name, then the email. Construct the email ID by using the first name and last name. I'm just going to comment out this part for now. Okay, let's just uh, create. I'll just uh, add one variable called string first name. Okay. Girl to a faker dot name dot first name then I'm going to assign last name with the uh, faker dot name dot last name okay once I done, I'm done with that let's see how we can create a, a email ID by using these first and last names so the format uh, would be something like um, probably first name Followed by uh, followed by a dot, then last name, then at the rate some domain and dot com. This is a decent email ID. We can make use of this pattern. We can just say uh, string email is equal to first name dot to 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 lowercase. We want to make sure it's in lowercase. Then we can add period here. Then you can see last name dot to lowercase. Then we can just add at the right domain dot com. Here you can add whatever you want. Okay, once you're done, let's just print them out and let's see, make sure it's working or not. Okay.
going to the first name, print, print the last name, then the email ID. Okay, let's see. As you can see, it has successfully generated the data for us. Okay first name last name then the email id we can make use of this data to fill up some form or uh, for writing some uh, test cases thanks for watching